Hi, my name is Todd Adams, and I'm Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs. I'm happy to be kicking off Relay Week 2020, which is a series of conversations with DU community members. I'm joined today by Ryan Hyde, undergraduate student government president, and Melissa Levy, who is the graduate student government president. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you. You know, it's been an interesting kickoff to the year. It's been different and perhaps difficult. And I'm wondering what has been occupying your thoughts as student leaders and the way that you serve and support your respective communities? Sure, I think one of the things that has really shined through with our community has been the resilience of our campus. Um, despite all the changes that we've had to make and adaptions to the new normal, our students have really done a great job as far as being compliant and um, helping the school stay successful. As far as ambition goes, I think for Deja and I, one of our biggest focuses this year is, is on the idea of intersectionality and you know, making sure that as we are looping together, whether it is student engagement, whether it is academics, whether it's inclusive excellence, whether it's sustainability, none of those operate in a vacuum. And it's incredibly important for us to be incredibly mindful of the fact that now with COVID, we have a tremendous opportunity to kind of start from scratch and really evaluate the campus as a whole without the normal systems operating as usual. And so as we, as we move into this year, we have a number of action items um, analyzing all different, all the facets of the campus. And when you mentioned Deja, that's Deja Brooks, the executive vice president of USG? Yes, yeah, Deja is the vice president. So it sounds like you're talking about the integration of that four-dimensional student experience and how we provide that even in these times. Yes, yeah, 4D is actually a, an incredible portion of our um, analysis, which is looking at kind of how, especially, especially with all of the changes and the anxiety and the stress that comes from uh, the pandemic. Super, it's super important for us to be mindful of the wellness portion and how we're meeting the, the wellness needs of our students. Thank you. Melissa, from the graduate student government perspective and, and your role there, what's, what's been on your mind in, in working with the graduate and professional students? Yeah, um, I think something that's been coming up for me a lot and it's been coming up in a lot of the, the different corners of the graduate student campus is community. That sense of loss of community uh, and that attempt to, to regain that, that sense once again. Uh, and it's been what GSG's initiatives this year have really focused on. A lot of our goals have been about figuring out what graduate students need and want in this very particular and often upsetting time, and in figuring out how we can then meet those needs. And a lot of what GSG has been doing, um, both uh, with the students and then also uh, with DU directly, has been figuring out how we can continue to cultivate that community. And then similarly to what Ryan was speaking to uh, with resiliency, I would definitely say something that has really shown through these days has been the passion that graduate students have been exhibiting. Uh, if, if nothing else, they've been searching more for how to be engaged, how to put their, their passions and their desires and, and their education to work. And I really feel like I've been seeing that shine through in the projects that we've been doing and in the initiatives that the graduate students are asking for. And it's, it's actually been really inspiring to get to watch. It really has. I'm curious if you have any questions for me. Sure. Um, would you mind telling us about your leadership style and of as you're new to DU, um, how you plan to bridge gaps with new student groups between the Office of Student Affairs and clubs, athletics, other divisions across campus, and also discussing your model for, for connecting with people and how you lead. Uh, I appreciate that question. It feels very nice to be together and it, it, knowing that we can do this in this type of way. Um, and it doesn't scale very well right now, but it is critically important and would be part of, of making the connections with students and with the community. And so doing that in pockets uh, to answer sort of your, your latter question first, 
finding ways to connect with students, some virtually, but also in person, and making uh, time to have some uh, sessions to listen and to learn, um, hear more about DU and how students are engaging, what things that are on their minds and ways that student affairs and inclusive excellence can join and partner. Um, we've often talked about shared governance, particularly among GSG, USG, and student affairs and inclusive excellence in ways that we can further um, and promote um, shared interests, uh, certainly around wellness and resiliency, uh, around a student experience and making connection in community. And what do we do to foster that? And what are the services and the resources and the supports that we need to bring to bear uh, for all members of our community to be successful? I think I lead very much in a participatory manner. Um, I like to lead in, in ways that bring the best ideas forward, that encourage people to uh, join together and find ways that we can work in tandem. And you've named several things that are of, of importance to us, and all of those are critical on my mind too, and maybe even more so and more sharply so given COVID because it is exposed um, inequities that we have already seen and made them even more bright. It has um, harmed more vulnerable communities and it has shown ways that we need to come together um, creatively and purposefully to address issues and solve problems, not just at DU, but as people that are gonna go out in our respective fields into the world, um, how we'll do that moving forward. A question for you all, I'm gonna turn the table back. Is there something from your perspective that you think DU is uniquely positioned to do or address? I think the first thing that comes to mind for me um, is just leadership, the idea of leadership. Um, seeing how DU jumped into action so quickly to protect the health and the well-being of its students all across the board, the widespread testing and the other protocols that they implemented, I think it's really inspiring and it, it really shows a dedication to safety and, and in that sense, um, DU can really position itself as a leader in these really unknown times. I think putting forward a lot of these new protocols and utilizing the student leaders on campus, checking in with the student body, and it's been exciting to see DU coalesce and, and bring itself together um, and really strive towards excellence. We're really striving towards excellence even in these strange times, and it just speaks to me as a really beautiful and natural form of leadership. Thank you. I, I uh, appreciate and echo, I think, that sentiment of uh, being able to take what is arguably um, the greatest challenge of this generation and finding paths forward and using the resources of the university and its people to help drive those changes and to move us through. So, uh, agreed. Do you have thoughts, Ryan? I really appreciate Melissa's remarks and taking on the challenge of our generation and of our future. One of the biggest things that my generation has to grapple with and has been divided with has been polarization. Mm -hmm. And how can the University of Denver take the lead in the act academic sphere, in the campus engagement sphere, in the athletic sphere, and really light the way as far as creating a space and a place where ideas are enriched, engendered, and appreciated. Mm -hmm. Looking at our pedagogy, looking at the way that we approach conversation, and really leading the way as far as creating an academic environment, namely, that engenders and encourages mixed opinions and debate, such that all of our students can leave the University of Denver prepared to enter the public, enter, uh, enter their post-collegiate life successful and ready to take on issues of the public good in a constructive and pragmatic way. I think that punctuates the, the good conversation we've been having and I appreciate both of you taking time and, and joining together. I know we've had time together before and we will have many more uh, host this, but it has been great to be with you today and to kick off Relay Week. So thank you for joining me. Of course. Thank you. Thank you for having us. You bet.
Please join us again tomorrow for more conversation with DU community members.